If you're one of those people who has or had one of these old-fashioned joysticks kicking around somewhere in your home, and you've been wondering how to get it working on a more modern version of Windows, find out where it is, dust it off, because I'm about to show you how. What you'll need is one of these. A USB Nest? This is a Rockfire game port to USB converter. All you need to do to get hold of one of these is go on somewhere like Amazon and type in game port to USB. Alternatively, you can just search practically anywhere for a game port to USB adapter and you'll be able to find a Rockfire converter. Inside the box, you'll find the device itself, an instruction manual and a piece of cardboard. The instruction manual for the most part is pretty useless, but don't worry about that because it's very, very simple to get it up and running. All you've got to do is plug your joystick in the game port end and the USB plug into your computer. There are four settings on the rocker on the top, depending on which joystick you have, depends on which setting you want it to be on. Okay, so for the next few minutes, I'll go through which joysticks I have, I'll show you which setting it needs to be on, and I'll show me playing a little bit of X-Wing just to prove that it works. Once you've figured out which setting to set the Rockfire to, just plug your joystick in and you'll hear the old <laughs> Then you've just got to calibrate it. Just hit the Windows key and type joy.cpl. Once the game controller's window is open, you've got all the tools there to calibrate and to set up the stick. There you go, it's as simple as that. You plug it in, you play. I'm on Windows 10, I can confirm that it works. It also works on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 machines to the best of my knowledge. If you're having trouble with any joysticks not listed here, by all means leave a comment, we might be able to help you out. I hope this has been of some use to you old PC gamers. Subscribe for more retro PC gaming videos. Perfect.